Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, in this video let's have a look on the mask options in the substance painter. So uh, if you could see here we have uh, different types of masks and what is a mask is very important to understand once you understand that the types of mask what you're exploring can be easily understood so firstly you have a fill layer which is you could see here below and I'll add a new fill layer on the top of this and then let me put some color which could be uh, very different from what we have here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mask to this layer now ignore what is mask uh, right now imagine we have these two layers one is the red which is below and another one is the blue which is on the top the top uh, layer is completely opaque and that's the reason you're not able to see uh, the layer behind it and uh, let's say if you pick a eraser and then erase this blue layer any in any particular area what you will see is the blue layer get erased and uh, if you erase that top layer and it becomes a see-through and uh, what what you will generally see is a layer which is behind it so instead of using uh, this layer and then erasing it what we basically do is we rely on something called layer mask and this layer mask are great way of uh, maintaining the uh, um, you know the erasing features i mean if you have erased something and you saved it next time you can't get it back but in layer mask you can just delete the mask and your erased information will be back so layer mask is much better way and uh, in uh, substance painter layer mask uh, becomes more powerful when it comes to creating complicated textures uh, with the, uh, different types of uh, procedural um, black and white images which we call them as uh, alphas uh, so what i'm going to do here is uh, uh, we have uh, this fill layer sitting on the top and i have a white and black mask here so both are basically same but the uh, sole difference is um, okay let me start with uh, painting a white mask so white mask i've added but you don't see any uh, great result here but if i can generally hold alt and click on this layer mask what you're seeing is the total uh, object in the viewport became white now let me pick the paint brush and then just go down here and then uh, choose uh, a color here and uh, you you only have black and white and uh, this is not basically color this is the value of the opacity so let's say if i paint something here so i'm using a black color and i'm painting black here so this part became white and this part became black and uh, let me bring this back to material okay and then what you will see here is uh, the area which i have painted black has become transparent in the blue material and the layer which is below it has got uh, and you are able to see that layer actually okay so you can paint the way you wanted here and uh, if you could see um, 2d and 3d layers together and then bring back your mask and you should be able to see whatever I'm painting now the white area is being opaque and black area is being transparent can I take any value which is half the way absolutely you can take them and this gives the value based on let's say the gray value is 0.3 so it keeps that 30% opaque okay let me bring it back to the material and you should able to see instead of getting some red color you're getting something more uh, a blend of blue and red because this is a uh, semi-transparent uh, the, the blue layer is not completely raised 
only 70% of that is erased and rest of them is seen with a blend of blue and that's the reason you're getting a different color here okay so it's it's like uh, uh, 70% red and 30% blue is visible in that area where I'm painting the gray value of this so if I do this you get more blue tint on top of it so it's you're not painting different colors but you are erasing that layer at different uh, percentage values okay so uh, now if I generally uh, see this uh, fill layer when I have I'll just remove this uh, layer mask okay now I'll add a black mask okay now the difference is if I add a black mask the initial fill is black and I told you the black is completely transparent and uh, the blue layer is completely gone now your gray value is white by default and when I paint it the area okay let me choose the mask again okay the area which is white has become opaque and the area which is black has become transparent okay and uh, you are able to see that blue uh, part is uh, getting visible okay now a black mask is by defaultly making the total layer into transparent and white is keeping that layer to completely opaque that's the only difference now this particular layer is basically uh, can have a sub layers and we can create a stack of such layers there so if I go here so we have fill we have paint and all that etc so I'll just take a fill okay so in the layer mask I've got a fill and this fill is uh, gray completely so you can make it uh, so it, it's completely filling that layer mask with us just a slider okay it's not you're not painting you have filled it completely now <coughs> let's say if I click here you can assign any texture okay so let me uh, type grunge so you, you have lots of grunge textures here okay so you can take any of these grunge textures okay and then you get that nice um, unevenness uh, on the on the surface okay let's say uh, it looks like a nice painted surface okay um, now if you can go to your uh, blue layer and then just slightly add up the bump then you should able to see that bump here okay so uh, it's like uh, you know creating a, a paint a layer upon layer that object might have been painted with different colors and the previous color is there and the top color has been completely scratched off so you're getting that nice paint effect here with a simple grunge map in it so you got a paint layer here okay so i can add one more paint layer on top of it okay so uh, i can go that with the fill and then i can take uh, scratches okay so you have a scratches texture okay so this scratch and that scratch can be let me just go with the mask okay so you are able to see uh, this is uh, white with the black uh, so you have this uh, grunge map which is white and then you have that black color here so when I put this on the top you are getting this uh, what you can do is you can invert that and then you can multiply it so what happened is the previous texture is now added with the scratches also which is sitting on top of it okay so you can go back to that material and you can see that's the scratch layer on the top okay so 
you can add all that additional layers like uh, you have this um, paint layer and uh, you have uh, the paint brush so go to the alpha okay you have lots of uh, alpha brushes here so you can select them okay let's say there's a fingerprint and then you can fingerprint doesn't look good but let me choose that fingerprint and then just click that and you get that texture added on top of it which is more uh, detail you're adding on top of that so layer mask is a great way of uh, getting the details so i can now uh, go for the materials and then uh, let's say i will add a steel material okay on top of it you should be able to see this steel now again i can put a mask now as you could see this layer mask can be added with anything we have something called generator and then we just choose this uh, metal edges okay then you should be able to see that nice uh, um, edges on the side here okay so what is that looking like this is uh, what that metal edge uh, generator is doing so you can add uh, the contrast or the uh, level you have a different uh, set of uh, settings here which is not very much uh, related to the mask but generally yeah so you can add as many as uh, layers you wanted here okay now let's try to add something else so uh, i will add a base layer again on top of it okay so i'll just uh, take a fill i have this uh, logo uh, with me which is uh, black and white i'm just dropping it into the alpha section and then uh, using this alpha uh, as alpha and then i'm going to import into the current session so you get this alpha here so uh, let's go uh, and create a new layer it's a fill layer and then i will choose uh, the height okay um, as normal so it, it's a normal uh, layer and uh, the height can be slightly higher there and then uh, i will choose the color to something like that and then make it uh, more glossy so uh, we have this so what i'm going to do is i'll take a white mask and then choose the fill and in the fill we will drop this texture here okay so select that texture and then scale it down you can choose 2d and 3d option and then you can place that texture to fit into this area okay but you don't want this to be visible on this sides then you can go to the uh, uv wrap and then say none make sure that you have selected the fill and then you'll get it here put it to none and you get that texture here so we don't have uh, i mean i i just wanted only this to happen in total area should be masked and text should be as if for what i've taken now so it should be reverse of that so in that case i can choose uh, levels and then here we have inward and then that becomes uh, opposite of that okay so we have different uh, light settings i'm going to take a contrast light and then let me choose to render it and you get this uh, nice result here okay so this all information what we have got is because of the alpha um, and the masking techniques